It is 4th of August. We're packed. We're gonna leave to Romania. The traveling part is pretty annoying. It's 3 a.m. right now. We didn't sleep and we're not gonna sleep anytime soon. We got a whole 20 hours ahead. Look at her. Checking, double checking stuff. Yeah. Just making sure we're going to get anything. It's okay, baby. I'll come back for you. We got some refreshments. And Anna got this and I tried it. It's really interesting. I have no idea, like, what it, it's, it tastes familiar, but... If any of you guys know what, what it is, uh, let me know in the comments. So, what did we do in Romania? I shall say, I shall say, in 2022. Barbecue with friends, short trip to the mountainside. This pool is actually filled with hot spring mineral water. One of the minerals in it is sulfur. So what that means is that it had this tank. But how much? Just a little bit. Aside from the fun, people come here to use the water's healing capabilities. This place is actually amazing, but unfortunately it's not being used to its potential by the authorities. After returning, I spent some more time at home, had some more barbecues. This one was nice, and I wanted to do a time lapse, but uh, the storm hit us. Look at that. Look at the buns. Not those buns. We left the bread buns in the rain, but the storm ended fast, and we dried the bread on fire. Then it was my birthday. And then we flew to Greece, to the crystal clear blue waters of Crete. Anya on uh, Zanakaki Street. A bit grumpy because you know get wrecked after traveling. I'm here with uh, Mr. Petriki. We're gonna have some coffee, some food, and uh, shortly after we will be seeing the sea, the Mediterranean. I'm not sure. The Airbnb that we booked is very fancy. I like it a lot. This huge balcony it has with two united rooms basically. I will show you inside. The Airbnb hyperlapse tour was not a great idea. I was kind of still experimenting with the hyperlapse at that time. Anyway, the place was great. All white, very spacious, uh, in the center of the city. All kinds of utilities present. The owner was really chill. He told us that there is no chance of anything getting stolen in this area, so that was nice. Easily one of the best Airbnbs I've ever booked. Looking swig, looking cool, looking fresh, son, but uh... What are those? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> That's my outfit for today. With the Nanya hat. I look like the mushroom man or something. As we were heading towards the beach, we got a little disoriented and took the long way, but we were pleasantly rewarded by passing through these gorgeous pathways, accompanied by the piercing buzzing of cicadas. I personally found the sound mesmerizing, but indeed it could get annoying after a while. This place felt like it was perhaps exactly the type of atmosphere that a tourist would expect from Greece. There's just something about these narrow, organic, non-geometric streets that makes them feel so cozy. The restaurants might have looked empty at daytime, but don't worry, the crowds would gather at evening.
Our group got stuck in this shop. But for good reason probably, as it may just be the best uh, gift shop in town. The, the shop was called Temple. Gift Shop Temple. It even had some archaeological display. So yeah, the streets in the old town of Hanya were really magical. Uh, it's quite an experience on its own. One thing that you surely don't experience from the video is the heat. In the shadow, it was manageable. In the sun, however, you'd feel like a frying egg. But that's just me. Other people, like these fishermen, clearly weren't bothered by the sun. I guess Patrick couldn't wait anymore to cool off. After a walk in that heat, jumping in the cool seawater is invigorating. For this trip, I had bought an aqua case for my phone. However, my underwater footage was mediocre. There's some sanitary fish and they really like cleaning my dad's food. Some beach, I'll put it on the description. It's pretty nice, it's uh, by far the best one we will be seeing in this series. It's wonderful weather, it's gonna be really good all week. The water is uh, perfect temperature in my opinion, because it's cool, it's not very warm, and uh, it's really shallow too. You need to walk around like 20 meters, 30 meters to get into it. After coming back from the beach, showering and whatnot, evening walks were more pleasant. Still warm, but uh, better. Surprisingly, it's not so humid here. You think being right next to the sea would mean that it's really humid, but it doesn't really work like that. This port was indeed charming, and the reason we came here at this exact hour was to see the sunset, and what a sunset it was. The port had a semi-sub tour that we did take, but uh, not on this day. We 
we thought the guy would do some tricks if you gave him money, but he just stands like that. That's cool too, I guess. As you've probably already noticed, there were a lot of cats chilling around in this town. In the summer, Hanya definitely comes alive at night. I think I can safely say that if nightlife is your thing, Hanya is a very good choice. Anyway, I hope you liked this uh, first episode of Greece. There's more to come, you know the drill. Like, share, subscribe, but most importantly, thank you for watching.